Hey y'all, I'm Mary, and this is my second Mask Monday. Um, I'm going to actually put the mask on in front of y'all, which may not be easy. This one in particular, um, I got from SUNY Pouch, and um, it just says soothing. That's the only word in English. So it just shows you to put it on and take it off after so long. So that's what we're gonna do. I washed my face, so I'm ready to go. And uh, here we go. Ooh, it's a little, a little runny. I didn't think about bringing a towel over with me. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. It smells really good. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'll have to try to look, I'll have to look at the camera to do this and that look at the view. Let's see the, uh oh, hang on. The nose thing is under, okay. Now this is big, this is good, because I have a big face and this looks like it may fit just fine. Wow, I don't usually have that happen for me. <laughs> I mean, I usually seem to not fit all the way to my hairline. This goes beyond my hairline. Anyway, so it is Mask Monday. Again, like I said, this is my second. Now there's ladies that do this and have been doing it for a little while. And um, I've met several of them and I'm very happy to meet them. They're lovely, lovely people. I made some wonderful friends. I've been on YouTube now for, I wanna say, today's my eighth or ninth day. I, I don't remember exactly what day I started. I guess I'd have to come back and look. I always have trouble around the nose. Um, but I can't believe all the wonderful people I've already met and friends. I've made some lovely friends. I've been on YouTube a little bit longer than that, so don't, you know. Um, but uh, I decided to start my own channel about a week ago, a little over a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. So I ask you to please subscribe and like my video, I hope. And now I am messy, but I forgot a towel. So I'm going to just rub my hands on my pajama top. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to do, while we're doing this, I'm going to try to do some um, fall questions. Whoops, I moved my camera over because it seemed a little, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, there, I'm a little late for the fall questions, but that's what I'm going to do. So the first question is favorite fall scent. I have several. I love, um, uh, of course, like everybody loves the pumpkin spice. I don't, the funny thing is about pumpkin spice, I love the smell of it, um, but I don't necessarily love to drink it. Um, I may, you know, I I just don't. I like, I love coffee. I go to Starbucks once in a while, but I don't get flavored kind of things. Vanilla is okay. I'm more of a real coffee person and not a, all those different flavors don't go for me. So I suppose I'd say pumpkin spice, but it's cinnamon, I like cinnamon. Um, I really like to, before they came out with Scentsy and all these other kind of plugging kind of things, I used to just simmer on the stove some orange slices with some um, clove and some cinnamon, and that's my favorite kind of fall scents. Um, second question, best way to spend a rainy day? Well, if I'm off on a rainy day, which is a rare occasion to be off, but if I'm off, I love to just stay home and relax and maybe... Um, watch TV, which I don't get to do much, but I would catch up on YouTube videos. <laughs> but I really would love to um, sit down and read, read a good book, read a good magazine, um, drink some lovely hot tea. Um, I love tea and I would make me something lovely to drink. And um, it would be nice. I'd have a cat on my lap, I'm sure. And it would be really nice. And um, favorite fall drink. All right, we already talked about the pumpkin pie. I mean, I'm sorry, the pumpkin spice is not my favorite. Um, I don't know that I have a favorite fall drink. I do like when they come out in the fall with the, um, uh, like apple cider at the store, the cold apple cider. Um, that's a little, you know, um, opaque. You can't see through it, um, cause it's real cider. I do like that. And of course, homemade is the best, but, um, I would just drink a cup of it. I, um, it's nothing that I really need to be drinking. I'm sort of, you know, medium about that. Don't care or not. Um, football, yay or nay? I will watch football. If people are watching football and I'm in a group and I'm at someone's house and we're watching football, I can watch football. Um, but I'd rather be gabbing with my friends than watching football. Um, I'm from Chicago, so of course I like the Chicago Bears, but I live in Alabama. There's no national team here, but uh, there's the college teams that are 
really big. Real, it's a really big deal here. So Alabama's probably my favorite team here. There's Auburn also, and there's a big rivalry. But um, I tend to go more for Alabama. Um, and the next question is favorite article of fall clothing. Um, probably a jacket. A, uh, I have a denim jacket that I really like, and that would probably be my favorite um, fall item. Um, and Haunted House or Haunted Hayride? Oh, the Haunted Hayride would be so beautiful, and the nights here are, are um, nice. They're not too cold, although now it has gotten cold. But the autumn nights here can be very lovely. In the 50s, maybe 60s, you got a nice sweater, maybe a wrap around you, and with your friends, and um, going on a Haunted Hayride would be lots and lots of fun. I would like that. Um, and then Scariest Movie. I don't like scary movies. When I was a teenager, um, went to the movies with my girlfriends and um, we were in a white station wagon. There was Lori and Annie and I think the other girl's name was Karen and then of course me, I'm Mary. Um, but the movie we went to see was the original Halloween and it was on the big screen. It was horrible, scary, scared the living daylights on us, out of us. The main character's name was Lori. I think her friend was Annie and another friend was the other girl, which I think was Karen. And they were in a white station wagon. So we, when we left there, we were stuck together like glue. And of course it was dark when we left and then we were supposed to go out to eat. We were scared to death, scared to death. I think I was, I was anywhere from 16 to 18, somewhere in that range, but anyway, <laughs> so I don't care for them. But I like more psychological kind of thrillers. So when it comes to that, I like um, uh, Silence of the Lambs. And my favorite would probably be the movie Seven. That movie really got me. And um, if you get a chance, you should see it. Brad Pitt's in it. Um, it was, uh, he, he's young at the time. Gwyneth Paltrow is his uh, wife. And uh, it's a really, really good movie, detective movie. Um, and then it says favorite Halloween candy. I love the little pumpkins that come in the harvest, the autumn harvest mix. mix. So the, it's got the candy corn and then it's got the little pumpkins and little other things. And I'm only allowed one bag a year because I would eat it every day constantly, the whole bag. So I buy one bag and then I try to make it last for a few nights. Um, so that's it, for, that's that. I love all kinds of candy. So um, chocolates and everything. So it's hard to pick just one, but in at, for Halloween, that would be it. I, I also love those little kisses that are, you know, the orange and the black paper. Um, the, people call them different things and I love that too. Um, and then it says, um, what will you be doing this year? Uh, well, Halloween has passed, so um, I won't be, I didn't really do anything. I had to work. I wore some ears to work and then I came home and did my usual Saturday laundry and grocery shopping, that type of thing. So, and with COVID, you can't really do much anyway. Normally I might help at my um, church's fall festival, but we didn't have it because of COVID. And then I've also will hand out candy um, sometimes, but nobody's coming trick-or-treating because of that. I give my neighbors, um, I have my little neighbor family, there's three kids. I give them, I usually make them up a pumpkin or a basket of goodies. And this year they're a little bit getting a little bit older. So this year I got them each a different two liter soda. Um, so like I got a, a root beer for one, um, a grape -a for another, and a sun-kissed orange for another. They call them Cokes here, no matter what the flavor is. And then I got them each a big bag of um, like one a Dorito, a ranch Dorito, and one was the fire, the flaming um, Cheetos, and the other was cheese puffs. So um, I told them that uh, whatever they like, uh, pick one of each and um, share. So they seemed happy with that, so that, that was good. And that's really all my trick-or-treaters. And then it says, what will, I'm sorry, favorite fall recipe. Oh, you know what, I, I love soup. Um, especially, um, I could eat soup probably any day, but um, in the fall, I love to make homemade soup. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind. I love um, homemade chicken noodle soup. I love um, beef and barley soup with um, any kind of vegetable soup. I make a really delicious cabbage soup. Um, any kind of soup, um, a taco soup, uh, those are very popular here and very delicious. Um, but something that's really hearty and um, the taco soup is probably the best for that because you can, you put on top of it um, shredded cheese and some sour cream and maybe some onions if you like that. And then you can serve it with Fritos or with Doritos or um, tortillas of some sort. 
and that's really hearty and delicious. And um, I guess this never stays on because I'm talking, because if I don't do this on camera, I don't have any trouble with that part. And what is your favorite thing about fall? Um, I love the change of weather. Here in Alabama, the summers can be very difficult. They get very, very hot, very, very humid. Not my favorite thing. Um, I love spring, I love fall, I love winter. Um, I love cooler weather. And we have had a beautiful autumn this year. I think last year it stayed in the 90s until October and then all of a sudden it was freezing. Whereas this, we've had um, the temperatures sort of taper off. It's been in the 70s. And then Hurricane Zeta came through and we had all that rain. And then with that came a cool front. So now um, it is uh, uh, cooler and 55 during the day. It's been sunny and gorgeous. At night, it's getting cold. We may have a frost um, uh, tonight. We, may, we had a frost last night. But just like when that means 32, you know, so or 30 or 35, it's getting and then there's a little frost on the rooftop. Um, but uh, so then that means the, the leaves are changing. They don't change as beautiful as they do up north, but they do change some and they're starting to drop and all that. And I just love this time of year. I love the harvest time and to see people decorate and the start of the holiday season. It's just uh, my favorite time of year. Um, and then it says, oh, who would you like to tag? Um, I'm not going to tag anyone individually because I don't know that many people, but anybody that wants to do this is welcome to do it. Um, these are questions that I got um, from um, uh, Miss uh, uh, Marion from Blessed uh, GMP. She's a doll and um, she uh, posted the, the, the fall challenge quiz. And um, I can try to link her down below so if you want to see what those questions are. And um, like I said, they might be a little bit old now. We're getting into November, we're into November, so we're gonna have Thanksgiving come up and Christmas before you know it. So um, I wish you all a lovely week, a blessed week and a lovely week and good weather by you. And I hope the kids, all your kids are well, all your grandkids are well and your families are well and your pets are well. <laughs> and um, I really love you all, I really do. And I um, thank you so much for visiting me. Take care, bye-bye.